Well, hello there. How you doing? Welcome to the video. Nice to see you. How you doing? Sit right back, relax, and buckle up. It's time to boogie. Let the show begin. Only take a few minutes of your time. Make a smile, maybe giggle, or blow your mind. So do a little dance and like this video. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Well, hello everybody and welcome to Stanley's Parable. We're gonna be playing this and I'm excited. This is, this is one of the greatest games of all time. I have seen someone play a small bit of it and I said to myself, you know what? I wanna play that someday. And two years later, here I am and I'm gonna be playing it I forget even what I watched. This is almost going to be completely new for me. All I know is that narrator is going to be telling me to do stuff, and I'm either going to do it, or I'm not going to do it. And it should be fun. Also, I don't even think you can, like, can you, like, interact with stuff? Yeah, you can. Cool. Awesome. So, yeah, if you've already seen someone play this, I completely understand. It's a kind of a different experience every time, so if you want to watch me play it, that'd be cool. And if you don't want to watch me play it, I understand that as well. Let's get to it. That door ain't opening. Any of these open? It appears not. Nope. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. All right, I'm going to try not to cock talk over that guy. If I do, there is subtitles. I just said cock. I must have something on my mind. All right. Is this the meeting room? Nope. Just a regular room. I like how you can... What's this one say? Be my Valentine. A little unseasonal, but at the end of the day, what can you say? The game can't please all seasons. I'm kind of skipping over some stuff. Maybe I should interact with more. All right, this way? Oh, I should also try to open the doors. Not happening, not happening. All right, let's keep going. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Our first decision. Guys, I think we're gonna follow. We're gonna follow suit to start things off right now. What's down this way? I know one of these doors is gonna open, and it's gonna be the one I don't pick, you know? Not happening. This one's not numbered. Still not opening. God damn it. Oh, this must be a meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Boss's office, okay. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Okay. <laughs> Using slides to ensure employees, everything is okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's so neat. I'm sure there's probably some funny stuff on some of these. You can pause them if you do got, I can't speak. I'll pause them if you guys do want to read them. But yeah, let's continue onward. You gotta get to the boss's room, eh? I did not close that door. Broom closet. Here we go. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. See, I feel like him saying that means there is something here, you know? 
Am I allowed to grab any of these things? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Is he gonna say anything else about it? That's what I wonder. Yeah, you can't grab anything. It's just... It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> he literally just confirmed there's nothing in there. He probably would stay more. We'll see. Oh, more decisions. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We're gonna be a good boy, guys. We're gonna be a good boy. Is this open? Nope. Is this the office? Oh, wow. Executive bathroom? Oh, come on, you gotta let me see that. This is a nice-ass office. Do you see what everyone else was dealing with down there? I did not close that. Oh, I can't go back if I don't want. Oh, wow. Okay. What do we got here? Can we snoop on what the secretary's doing? I'm assuming, yeah, that's his office, and that's the secretary shit, right? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known <laughs> this. All right, two, eight, four, five. Is there anything else here? I guess not, except for these goddamn vaulted ceilings and a camera. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Shut the fuck trying up. Trying to imitate incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Damn. I wasn't expecting to follow the storyline, but it looks like I am today, guys. I didn't know what I was going to do before I got into this. Is there anything in this direction? No, just a bunch of darkness. This looks scary as hell. We're going down. We are going down. Loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Let's go. Jesus. I didn't think this was going to be scary. It's dark. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We can escape, guys. We can escape. We don't have to walk in there. Let me, let me see what's in this direction. Is there a door on this? No, so I Although couldn't... this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. But what if, in all actuality... But of course, Stanley thought better of it, and realized he simply had too much to live for. What if this is really the death, and this is life? Nope, still on board with death. Are you done talking, bitch? That's what I thought. I, you know what? We've been listening to this dude the whole time. And we kind of been going where he wanted us to. We should stick with it. Although I really want to know what's down that hallway. Guys, we're going in for the mind control. This? Oh, God. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? 
I can only imagine how much Best Buy made from the, all these sales. I don't know if they work on commission or not, but goddamn, that. Wait, is it possible to get up there on another another route? I don't know if that would even help. God damn, that's a lot of monitor. What's this one do? Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the hey, building. Hey, there's me. You see me? Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Wow. Interesting. Oh. No, can I go over here? No. What do I do now? Oh, this is new. I'm stupid. Okay. I walk over this way. Oh, what does this do? I'm scared. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Should I just be accepting this? Is it too late to return? It is. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? It can't be true. Oh, what is this? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Are you serious? Five? Do the numbers mean anything? Is that the only number? Oh, there's a four up there. All right, let me try to find all the numbers. Is, is that important? Should I press these? Is there a three first? That's what we need to figure out. There's gotta be a three. I will walk in there eventually. Let me press the one. Oh, Jesus. Should I have done that? Should I press the numbers? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's continue onwards. I don't see a three. Let's go in here. Oh, that's a creepy noise. System power? This ain't good. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh God. What did I do? What did I do? Darkness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. 
No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Did I beat it? Am I going to fall through there? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I made Stanley happy. Wow, I just unlocked an achievement, beat the game. What? Did I beat it first try? I... Well, it's a good damn thing I didn't walk down that death hallway. But now it's just another day. We're in the same All spot as before. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm feeling some deja vu, guys. Feeling a little bit of deja vu. And this game is... A, wow. Okay. Let's head on in. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But not today, sir. Today is a new day. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Maybe I did want to admire it, sir. Maybe I did. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. This lounge? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Damn right I'm drinking it all in. Wait, time out. Yo, this is the exact same vending machine from CSGO, the map zoo. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Starting to think this guy's becoming a little bit of a dick. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. It all it all loops back around, right, guys? Let's take the left. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we don't take the left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Oh wow, this looks dangerous. Yep, definitely dangerous. Any other paths? Wait, can I go back here? Why'd I even try? I knew I couldn't. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Interesting. Now we're starting to get some more story details here. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Very interesting. All right, I'm loving this now. I don't like when doors close behind me, though. Just boring room? Nothing? That is a... Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll trust it. Oh my god, that was scary. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. 
I refuse. I'm not doing it. I don't like this. They didn't need to scare me like that. Not today. Not today. Oh, come on, say something, narrator guy. Don't make me do this. Do not make me do this. Say something. I know you're watching. Fuck. What happened? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This dick. How's this is moving? a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Wait, is he trying to make me press these buttons so I feel... Dick! Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly Fuck what you. he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Do I have to press these buttons and just take this shame? But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <laughs> Press E to watch TV? And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press G to spend some time with the boys. Is the room going to change every time I do something? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Oh, now we're making dinner. Okay, is this going to change on me? As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. A baby? And he called it the Stanley Parable. And they're breaking the fourth wall. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Just one more time. Oh, they're gonna do me dirty this way. She, something's gonna happen to her. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Man, this guy's a dick. Press 9 to go to sleep. Well, let me just press another insignificant button. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. I listened here, earlier, watch Dick. watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, 
Do not do it. Fuck you, I'm doing it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? With a mirror, dipshit. I'm not pressing this time. I am not pressing. Wait, maybe he wants me to not press it. Because that's what he told me. Fuck you. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Jesus. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Did I just die? Did I just die? Oh, this motherfucker. What would have happened if I didn't press a button? Oh, not this again. Fuck. Wait, time out. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Bitch-ass motherfucker. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Don't give a Stanley shit. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Dick. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. However, Stanley saw something cool. Didn't he? Ha <laughs> ha! What could be down here? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. Well, left's the only one that seems to open, unless you can open these. Well, definitely left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. Oh, that mistake. fucking scared me. I seriously jumped from that. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? This motherfucker. This motherfucker. Now, let's see. We went down right, left... Down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. If that thing runs me the fuck over, I'll trust it. Okay. Apparently that thing's just there. Ooh, red buttons. What do I see down there? It's like a window. Oh, it's that room again. Oh, this is what I saw earlier. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Are you serious? Oh, that is some bullshit. This is why I was confused last time, because this hallway wasn't the same as it was last time. It put me right up to the room. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Shut the fuck Stanley up. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. See, last time, 427 was right there. And I just walked straight into here. This motherfucker. I'm standing... Wait, 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 what? No, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. 
Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley, let's find the story. Are you serious? That's not possible. Wait. Okay, that's the same thing. I don't know which one to pick, but I've already been in those two. Let's try this one on the right first. Oh god, it's a labyrinth. Let's go this way. Oh, she says. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? This is a closet. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, my God. Uh, fuck this guy. All yeah, of say your words. Were gone. What could it mean? He went to Stanley the fucking... decided to yep. go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Shut the fuck up. This motherfucker. Well, okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Stop changing the goddamn script! Any of these open this time? No. Hey, was that always through there? This is new. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. This stupid game. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. I swear. How is this changing? Ugh. The fuck? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? That's what I recall. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be don't doing... Don't restart. How don't you fucking restart? This? You win! Congratulations! Woo! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Damn. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. No, 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 no. Uh, well, I, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna get... What? The Stanley Parable Adventure Line... I gotta follow that. But I think we're gonna do it next time, guys. I think we're gonna do it next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I'm... I'm gonna continue playing, because I can't just stare at that line and not follow the line, you know what I'm saying? So, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section if you want more. If people are really enjoying this, I'll definitely upload more parts. If people aren't, then I will uh, maybe consider putting this on my second channel or something like that. But I had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys did too. And we won twice, technically. We won on the first time, which is crazy. I wasn't expecting that. And then that last time, we won. I don't care what he said. I heard kids screaming, they were happy, and we won that stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and bye-bye. Uh -oh.